Hello, Mullet City. You think you look fine in a mirror and then you see yourself on camera. Oh God. Can we try to make this? Oh God. There is no helping. I have a mullet. It literally looks like I have a mullet. God bless my hairline. I am so lucky. Hello friends. Welcome back to my channel. I look terrifying. I know. But let's not focus on that. Let's focus on the topic of today's video. And that is this gorgeous little creature right here. Yeah! Hello, lovely. So this is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. This little sucker right here. I'm sure you have seen this before. I know a lot of influencers got this little guy in PR. I did not. Okay, whenever this first came out, obviously. <laughs> whenever this first came out, the only place that you could get it was from the website from like London, I think. Yeah, like where this is made. So uh, that's not happening because it was literally gonna cost like $30 to buy this foundation if I had it shipped from overseas. No, no, girl's not doing that. So I was just like, Meh. guess that's a foundation I'm just never gonna try. But I really wanted to because everybody said it was so amazing. So if you've never heard of this foundation, it was kind of, I guess, like spawned because of this amazing little concealer right here. So this is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. When this little guy hit the market, everybody freaked out because they're like, oh my God, it's a shape tape dupe. So I think the success of this kind of led to this. So I was walking into, to, uh, where'd I go? Ulta today. And I saw an entire display of it and I was like, holy f they finally have it over here in the States where I can try it, yay. So I wanted to try it for the very first time on camera with you guys so you can get my actual reaction to see, is this as amazing as everybody says it is? We shall see. So I'm grabbing my mirror. I'm grabbing a fresh beauty sponge because I didn't want it to like, you know, have old gross dirt stuff on it like, you know, this one and all my other ones do because I'm disgusting and I don't clean my things. It's fine. I have mine in the shade F7. Um, I'm probably not going to be this color, <laughs> but um, I just grabbed it because I'm like the, the C7 color in the concealer. I don't know why I thought that would be correct, but that was my thought. So one thing to mention, I love this applicator. Do you see it right there? It's like one of those like super doe foot applicators. Hello, gorgeous. If you look back through some of my super old videos, I have like a hundred and some videos. Like, you know, if you enjoy my channel thus far, like you can go back and watch a few if you'd like. That one be splendid and subscribe while you're in it. But if you go back and look through some of my old, old, old videos, you might remember me using the Clinique concealer foundation thing that comes in a bottle just like this and it has an applicator just like this and mama loved it. I literally had four shades for every shade of what the hell I could be throughout the year. Pale, super pale, like red because my skin's trying to run off of my body somehow and then like tan for when I like fake bake all the orangeness on. So, clearly I love that, right? So I wanted to try this, and so far I'm already in love because it reminds me exactly of that one! This isn't getting any cuter, so let's get started. I'm just going straight from the doe foot. Huh. Color is... <sighs> um, color's questionable. But God, it goes on smooth. Oh my God, I could do this for hours. I have no idea how much to apply. I might have on 10 pounds too much. I don't know. Ew, that I hate. I hate that. Do you guys hear that? Yeah. Ah! Why are you doing it? All right, we're just gonna stop because that's disgusting. Grabbing the fresh sponge. Let's get all of this mop out of the way. Why don't I have a headband in? I don't know. Ready, let's begin. Oh, okay. Note to self, the dries fast. <laughs> I'm uh, struggling a smidge to blend it because it's like wanting to dry. A little bit does go a decent way with this. I will give it that. Oh, is this color like too light? Everybody time out. I'm gonna need more because I'm an idiot and let it dry. Okay, so my first thought is, my first thought is it was a little tough to blend out. I don't know if that's like human error or makeup error. I'm unsure. And something else I'm noticing is it's like immediately settling into like my my giggle lines here and 
like my lines under my eyes and like across my highway of a forehead so that I like don't love <laughs> alright so I'm going to take the concealer the matching concealer I'm gonna put this on it's like the same color was I tan enough at any point in my life to wear concealer this dark the answer is more than likely no concealer blends like a dream I'm going to set it for you guys on camera just so you can kind of see what that's like so I'm grabbing my old faithfuls okay old faithfuls nothing new for me so I'm using the Cody airspun to do the whole face and then the hourglass veil translucent setting powder for the under eyes okay they are my staples nothing new here I mean, if you have a giant forehead like I do and you have a ton of creases that look like roadways on your forehead this is how you can fix it I literally grab my scalp <laughs> yank it backwards and just pound the hell out of it until she's nice and flat and then don't move or make an expression whatsoever have zero emotion right now and set I didn't look translucent before. I look horrifying. I look like one of those people in like a Civil War reenactment. That's what I look like right now with the mullet hair and everything's not going right. Woo! You go wild with the powder. And you grab your facial powder. I wear 10 pounds of powder. Get over it. And then I dab, dab, dab. Dab, dab. All right. God, that feels smooth as a baby's ass. Oh my God. All right. Okay. All right. I'm jumping on this bandwagon for a hot second because I was really skeptical there for a minute. Now that I've said everything, hmm, this actually looks really good. So I'm actually pleasantly surprised. Setting it really helped. So now I'm going to go put on the bits and bobs in my face and I'll be right back. Gross. My hair. It's just doing its own thing today. We're not meant to look good today. So I've got obviously the rest of my face on and I've had about an hour or so that I've been wearing this foundation. I feel like it does look very natural. It looks kind of like second skin-ish type deal. But it's just it's settling into my like fine lines like so much. Right through here <laughs> like in that same breath this was a $12 foundation, so can I really be that mad? No, probably not. So with that being said, with it being a $12 foundation, I think it does a pretty good job. This is foundation that I'm honestly gonna have to wear to work sometime when I'm gonna be wearing it for like 13, 14 hours and really see how it is going to, you know, live on the face. My final thoughts are I do like this foundation. I definitely need to test it out a little bit more to see kind of like the longevity of it. But thus far I really do think for the price it is a pretty gosh darn good foundation. So as of right now it is a approved. I'm gonna keep trying it and I will let you guys know eventually. Do I love it? Do I hate it? Did I return it? What happens in the saga of the brand new makeup found makeup what are you in the makeup revolution foundation so i will let you know kind of what goes on there thanks so much for watching this one guys i really appreciate it and if you are new here hello welcome to the channel please don't forget to subscribe before you go and click that notification bell right next to that so you get notified every single time that i upload because trust me you want to be here I feel like I need a new outro. <laughs> I feel like we're overdoing it. So one more thank you guys so much for tuning into this one and I will see you in the next one. Bye.